everybody. You know, I generally don't like to post negative comments about anybody, but this, I, I felt the need to post just to save somebody in the future a little bit of trouble. Uh, what do you do with a business that treats you like crap? You know, you buy stuff from them, or you attempt to buy something from them, and their customer service is just crap. All right, well, let's talk about the Glock store first. I will not be going back to Glock store because they seem to think that my time is not worth anything. You know, uh, I'll give you the brief story. Well, you know what? Better yet, watch this uh, very short video and then we'll get back to the second business. Yeah, so I was at the range today, you know, shooting this thing for the first time. And uh, put, let's say, four magazines, three, four, three, five, uh, no, four. And on the fifth one, started misfiring. Uh, the slides start to get stuck open. Every shot, every single shot, every single shot. So I'm not a gun expert, I wasn't going to do anything over there. Kind of got disappointed, I mean, the luck is supposed to be the most reliable thing, right? Well, check this out. I ordered this slight release extension from a reputable place, you know? And after four magazines, the damn spring broke. I just found out, you know, took it apart, took a look at what's happening. I'm gonna try to zoom in for you guys. Check this out. The metal loop that the spring, that little hook catches on, sheared off. brand new part from a reputable store. Anyway, I also have to mention Glock store. You know, we buy something, we pay for it right then and there. You know, it took them two weeks or more to get it to me. And it broke, the part broke the very first time I took it to the range. So forget about my gas, forget about my time, forget about my range fees. That doesn't matter, you know. Uh, forget about my disappointment factor. So. It took the Glock store until this morning, this is almost a month to the date of them receiving this thing, and they don't want to refund the $8 shipping charge. They made me send the entire kit back to them instead of just sending a replacement part that broke. And I sent it back to them, and now they're chiseling out of paying me the $8 shipping. I need to mention, you know, the stuff that they sent to me weighed less than an ounce. I could have shipped it first class for about 75 cents. Eight dollars? Okay, that's fine. So, obviously I'm gonna dispute it with my credit card company just out of the principle of it. You know, I called them this morning, spent 45 minutes on wait, nobody was picking up at all. I think I called them like three times this morning uh, and something was interrupting me after after about 15 20 minutes of that stupid music they have on and uh, finally somebody picked up the phone and they absolutely refused to refund the eight dollar shipping okie dokie that's fine so let's let's uh, forget about glock store forever and uh, and again uh, you guys want to take a chance on your uh, parts uh, metal parts shearing right off after first use go for it buy stuff from them i was under the impression that they sold quality products now it's the same chinese crap you would buy on ebay anyway uh let's move on to the next one turner's outdoorsman holy crap you know i already had a couple of experiences with them where which left a bad taste in my mouth yesterday really took the cake I received a Father's Day special advertisement in my email. They were selling slugs, I uh, forget the brand, but they were like $7 for a five round box, which for these parts in Southern California, that's a good deal. So since I got a brand new shotgun, I decided to go down there and buy 10 or 20 boxes. You know, that's only 50 to 100 rounds. 
nothing outrageous, right? I go over there, grab a ticket, wait in line for an hour. Forget about my time driving down there, gas, you know, waiting in line. You know, when I ask the sales lady to what I want, she picks up two boxes and she proceeds through the cash register. I thought you misunderstood. I said, no, 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 no. I, I see at least a dozen of them. I'll, I'll take all you can sell me. I mean, I'll take all of them. She said, no, no, no. We can only sell you two. I said, what do you mean? There's no limit stated or anything, and you don't have anything else for me to buy. Th these are the only slugs that you guys have. Don't you want to make a sale? Well, we want to make sure that another person after you comes in and has a chance to buy some. I tried to reason with them. I said, my shotgun takes 15 plus one. Two five round boxes is not even enough to load it up for one. No logic, no reason. The manager confirmed they're not going to sell me more than two boxes. They're not going to sell me more than 10 rounds of magazines. So I asked them, I asked them, do you value my time? And do you value me as a customer? I, I, I bought stuff from them before. I bought ammo, I bought a handgun. There's no answer to that. They just sit there like a bunch of fish. <clears throat> okay, well, you, you know, three bad experiences. Okay, maybe it's at one location, but I made a phone call to their corporate and corporate did give me a call back. And you know what they said? They said, well, you know, we have a current ammunition shortage situation and blah, 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 Baltimore, this and that and that. You know, they have it on display. Not even, I'm not talking about in the back storeroom. Right there on display behind the glass. They have more than a dozen boxes. So the corporate rep tells me, well, you know, actually, it's up to each individual store to enforce their policy. We have nothing to do with it. So keep in mind, you go down there to buy some ammo. You spend your time in line. You know how fast that line goes, right? You could be stuck there for two or three hours. And at the end, even though they have the product, they may not sell it to you. So reconsider shopping at Turner's Outdoorsman. Choose a mom's and pop shop. If you're right here in Southern California in Los Angeles area, go to Smoking Barrel in Simi Valley. Go, go to the Target Range in Van Nuys. You know, there are a couple in Thousand Oaks. I think Gretla's Guns is there. Why go to a corporate, they don't give a shit about your store? Why? Make your choices, guys.